Hello guys. In this tutorial, let's learn how to use for loops in hidden events. Uh, we'll use a simple exercise to learn for loop. I have created a simple grid with 10 rows and 10 columns. If you see the point number runs from 0 to 99. So in total there are like 100 points. If you see the difference in point number uh, between two rows, right, they are exactly 10. So the aim of us will be like to create a new set of uh, rows between every row of points. We know we have to create a new point between every 10th point. So like let's try to do this using for loop. Let's put on attribute triangle uh, and let's create two variables. One is called increment. So in our case it is 10. Second is the number of points. So we can we can call it num. We can use the endpoints function uh, to calculate the number of points. And we need the number of points uh, because we need to find the position of every point and the tenth point from that point. Now let's start the for loop. So for int i is equal to 0 and i is like less than num i plus plus. So here we are creating a variable called i. Uh, to explain this line, we are creating a variable and we are setting its value to 0. So it starts from 0. Then it uh, the value keeps increasing uh, 1 for every loop it runs. Then we will run it till i is less than the number of points. So basically we are running the loop for every point. So in our case the loop will run for the 100 times. Now close bracket, open bracket and uh, so let's create a variable for position of the first point. Uh, here i is the point number so let's do the same for i plus 10th point so we have two positions one is the current point the loop is running through and the second is the 10th point from the current point so we can just add them both and multiply by 0 0.5 uh, to get the new points position we'll call it new So we now know that where we have to add the new point, we have the position. But to add the points, we can use add point function to create the points. Let's close the loop. You can see we have points in between every row. But there are multiple points created. But you just need one point between the two rows. This is because it is executing the loop for each iteration like based on our condition so we can just change it to detail so it runs only once now we have a single point like we expected but there are some extra stray points here so which we don't need this is like uh, created uh, because we are running our loop till the last point because we are finding the current position and the uh, 10th position so we have to run the loop only till like 90th, uh, 90th point in our case. So we just have to sub, uh, subtract the increment from the num value. So I hope you were able to understand how to use for loop in WETS using like this simple exercise. Thanks.